Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Nails in Orbit. My name is Gabby. We are doing something a little bit different today. We're actually talking about my nail school experience. We usually do nails around here, so please disregard my little nubs. Just imagine one of these nail sets on my nails right now. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I am 26 years old. I actually did go to school um, for interior design before this and then I was an experiential designer which is like 3d and graphic design mixed together but anyway I just decided that was not for me after being in a, the career for two years it was very much time consuming and I just wanted to work for myself so I decided to go to nail school and I had already been doing nails on myself for like a year and I loved it but I, I was like oh I'm never gonna do nails on anyone because I just didn't have any time but then I decided why not and signed up for nail school so first things first I researched a lot before I started looking for an actual physical school and the general consensus, like I watched a lot of these videos and the general consistence consists, oh my God, consensus in these videos was that I was not going to learn how to actually do nails in nail school, which was really shocking to me when I first figured that out, but, but that's what everyone said. So when I was looking for schools, my mindset was just low price. And cause I knew I could just teach myself the book. I could teach myself how to do the nails. And if I just need to sit there and get my hours, I can do that. So I was looking for a pretty low price, uh, distance from my house. And just like, you know, when you get your first impression or your vibe of the place when you go and visit. So that's what I was thinking about when I went to go look for schools. So I went to go look for those schools in person. There was a popular one that was around $5,000 in my area. And that was a little bit high for me. I didn't want to spend that much, but that seemed like the average price around me. So I went to go look at the school. I mean, I called them, I made an appointment. I went to go look at the school. And this is what I mean by like first impressions. So I go in there, I talk to the lady. She says that I had made the wrong appointment time, even though I, I know I, I know I came at the right time because I'm very much an anxious ish like person. So I know I did the right time. I confirmed that it was the right time. And then I came in, she was telling me I was wrong, whatever. And then, so that was kind of like, eh. and then I went in, um, did my tour. I didn't love how the building was set up. It was kind of like every, all the different schools were kind of like almost in one like big room. So I didn't, didn't love that. And then we came back. She told me a little bit about the program and stuff like that. And it almost seemed like she was like, oh, it's this, it's this. Like there's so much to do, like a lot of time consuming stuff. Like she was almost like she was kind of convinced me like not to do it. That was kind of the vibe I was getting. So I was like, oh, I don't really like I don't really like this. So I left there and I knew I wasn't gonna pick there. So I went to a different school and it was actually exactly $1,651. And I was like, yes, very low. But again, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. So I wasn't expecting a lot. So I went in there, I talked to the guy. He was really nice. He told me about the school, um, like about the manicures program. It seemed more like lenient, you know what I mean? Like if you leave one day or you, you don't come like you're not going to get kicked out as easily i don't know why i was thinking about that but i just wanted something like lenient so not that i wasn't going to come to school because i definitely came to school like almost every single day and got finished pretty quick in like four months but i just i didn't want to be so strict okay so anyway besides that that's what i was thinking of um so yeah he just told me about the school he gave me the price he gave me a little bit of a tour it was super duper small there was a huge classroom for the vietnamese manicurist and then there was a smaller classroom for the english speaking because there was like way less people there was probably like 30 35 in the vietnamese class and then like six to eight of us in the english class and um they gave me, he gave me a small tour and I was passing them and they all seemed really nice. They had good vibes for the English class. Some, they seemed like fun girls, they were laughing and stuff. So I was like, okay, this seems really nice. Like, I mean, not really nice, but it seems, it seems good enough for me to go. And then um, he like tried to scare me and be like, the price is gonna go up. So make sure you decide if you're gonna come. And that did scare me. So, so I did come back the next day and um, I came in, um, I paid half my tuition, I got my kit and I got my little gown. So, and my book, of course. But again, do not expect a lot. Do not have high expectation expectations when it comes to this. Like the kit, for example, none of the products are like good and they do give you like a really little amount of them. So if you do end up wanting to practice like in school, like actually practice, which you obviously will, um, you're gonna have to buy your own stuff. So 
yeah. The only thing you really do use that they give you is this book, this handy dandy book. Um, and then what else? Yeah, so I picked up my stuff, I paid, and then that was on a Friday. I went home, got ready for school. I was so excited. I got myself little folders and stuff. <laughs> and then um, I went to school on Monday. And then, so my first day, I go into the office. I just get signed in. I get my like my number and my finger scanned and stuff like that. Um, also, fun fact: I had short nails that day. So I was able to fit, but if you want long nails, you're not gonna be able to scan your finger in this specific scanner that they had. Um, so if you are scanning in that thing, just make sure you use your thumb because then you can have long nails and you just shorten your thumb and it doesn't look so crazy. But I used my pointer finger and I was so annoyed because I couldn't have the same length on all my fingers after that. So just random thing to keep in mind. So my first day when I went in the classroom, it was a little bit funny and made me giggle a little bit, but I guess, I guess the girls like right before I had come in, the girls had fought for this new classroom because at most nail schools, you can't use regular monomer, which is so crazy because the cosmetology class would have like perms and those smelled terrible. So I was like, what? So anyway, we couldn't use our monomer in that other classroom. So the girls fought to go into this classroom, which was the lunch area, but it, it switched to our classroom and it had this big garage door. And it was so funny because we would have to like, like it was so loud. It was like piercing loud. And we would just crank it on up. Our hands would get all dirty. You'd have to wash your hands. And you'd crank it up like halfway because Sometimes people would like come on in, like it was not a good area. So sometimes there'd just be like randoms, like just coming up and like trying to talk to you and you have to be like, oh, go away please. And, um, but yeah, so we'd crank it halfway and then we would, we'd be able to do nails because we had airflow for the monomer, but that was fun. That made me giggle. <laughs> and then I went and I met the teacher. She was really nice. Um, and then all my classmates, um, I, I'm a little bit of, I just wanted to make sure I was a social butterfly that day. I hadn't been in school for so long and I was really excited because I loved doing my nails and I was just, I like school so I was really excited to go. So I was ready to meet everybody and say hello. And so that's what I did that day. And then, yeah, I met everybody. And then what we did, the teacher like in introduced us to the book basically. And then told us that we were going to, each chapter you read and take notes on each chapter and then you're going to take a practice test for that chapter. So how I took the notes was, I'll explain that later actually, I'll explain that when I do the daily. So that's what she explained to us. And then we had lunch. And then after lunch, I actually came in with a new girl. Me and the other new girl just did each other's nails, like manicure, like 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 nail polish and manicure. I did have acrylics on, so we kind of just like pretended. That's what the teacher told us to do, just like to pretend to paint and then just like do the cuticles and stuff like that. So that's what we did. And that was, that was my first day, not much to report. So now I'm just gonna give you tips on like how to get through it because it can, it can get a little bit boring. So basically my school, we didn't have lectures or anything. Like we, she did not, like we weren't taught the material. You know what I mean? Like we weren't taught the material and we weren't taught like physical stuff. An example of what you do learn is like sanitization, anatomy of the body, diseases, even electricity. That one surprised me, but yeah, electricity. Um, yeah, so stuff like that. That's what you're gonna be learning in the book. But yeah, not really. You learn about acrylic and monomer and all that stuff, but you don't actually like, like I said, you don't do it unless you practice yourself off of YouTube in the class. <laughs> you kind of just like, we're on your own. But again, you get what you pay for. You get your pay for. And if you are paying a lot, make sure it's not, you're not getting this that I'm telling you. <laughs> So what I did, how I scheduled my day was in the first half of the day, I would take notes with my book. I would actually take notes on my iPad. So how I would do it is I would take notes of the whole chapter and then I would go back and highlight the chapter and then I would take the chapter test. Um, and that, that really seemed to work for me, especially if I, I didn't wanna take the test or whatever, I would just take the notes for like what, three chapters. And then right before I was going to take the test, I would just go back to that notes I took, highlight, so I'm ready for the test and then take the test. And they were just practice tests, but also don't forget to take a picture of the test questions and the answers. If that's how your, I don't know if that's how your school does it, but that's how we did it. And we, I always took a picture of the, the test and the answers so that when I was going back to study um, for the actual test, I had some questions to look back on. So I thought, so that worked out well. And then we had lunch. We had this little back 
lunchroom in our classroom. So we really never left our classroom unless it was like to go to the bathroom. But so we had like our room and then like a little lunchroom. So we would sit in the lunchroom and eat lunch and just mangle. You know, you can always just go out and get food too if you want to. And then after lunch, um, I would just work on like my, I have a fake hand. I have one of these, a little fake hand. I would work on that and just practice my acrylic, practice my nail art. Sometimes if other girls wanted their nails done, I would do their nails. Um, we had a, a, another new girl in class who came with me. She had been doing nails for like two years. So um, she would charge other girls and she would just do amazing nails. She did like money nails once for a one girl and it was really fun. So once you start making friends um, and that part, the second half of the day is a little bit more entertaining because then you just like hang out with each other, do each other's nails and stuff like that and it's fun. And then, um, Another things that we would do to be entertained would be go to the nail store. We were lucky enough to have like at least, I think it was like four, it was like a whole street of nail stores basically. Down this one street, there was like four or five nail stores. So sometimes we'd honestly just marathon it. We would just store, 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 just to be entertained. And you know, you're not supposed to leave that long, but we definitely would. Our teacher would get a little bit mad but we still have hours. <laughs> so that was a lot. And of one little tip about the nail store, do not spend all your money. A thousand people will say this on here. Do not spend too much money at the nail store, especially if you don't have clients who are asking for certain things. Maybe don't buy it just yet. I needed to take that advice and I did not. So please listen to my advice. <laughs> okay. And then you can also, we also took nails, took clients at school. So our school was, like I said, a little bit janky. So we didn't get that many people of like walking in to get their nails done. And honestly, I just tried to avoid it because at that point I had never done a stranger's nail. So I was very nervous and I didn't want to do anyone's nails. So I didn't, I would just hide. And, um, but that was rare. I think we got like three people, like the four months I was there that actually wanted their nails done. And um, most of the time they were Spanish speaking or Vietnamese speaking. So they'd want either a Vietnamese speaking person or a Spanish or someone who spoke Spanish, which was not me either. So I really never got picked. So thank you. And then, um, oh my goodness. Yeah, we would take clients, but some people would have their, their actual clients, some of the girls in the class come to the school. I never did that because I just, I like my setup at home and I didn't want to do all that. So some people would bring their people in, but you're actually supposed to pay the school. I'm sure more strict schools, like they make you do that. Like you can't just have people walking in, but we were like, like I said, we had a garage right here. So you could have someone park and then come in and the front, the front wouldn't even know. So we didn't, we didn't pay the school, but yeah, like I said, I didn't have anyone come. And then, um, what else? There was a little bit of drama, you know, as any school, as any school does, there's a little bit of drama. It was entertaining, but you know, be nice to everyone, be friends with everyone. I just giggled about it. It was, it was kind of funny, but be nice to people. Actually, I actually have a funny story to tell. So the other class, um, apparently one of the girls found out, one of the girls from my class found out that the other class, this is an example of the drama. One of the girls from the other class called us the fat class. Oh, girls, stop. I couldn't believe it. Obviously I wasn't offended because they just jealous of these juicy booties we got over there. But uh, who says that? Who says that? And then I guess some just random things. So random things, um, the pedicure stations we had to pay for. That was so weird to me. Like we had to pay for them and we were students. I think it was like, it was something, it was like five bucks, but still, I'm not trying to pay five bucks after I already paid for school. So we just never used them. And even the Vietnamese class, they would like bring bowls and just bring them into their classroom instead of using a whole, like the pedicure chair. So yeah, we never used it. We used it before that became a rule. And then when that became a rule, we just didn't learn about pedicures after that. So that was interesting, but I never intended on doing pedicures. So that wasn't a problem for me. But if you're going into the salon, most of the girls in my class, the English speaking class, were home nail techs like me. So we didn't have to worry about that too much, but it did suck for like the Vietnamese class or any of the girls. Cause there were a couple of Vietnamese girls in my class who would, who would, um, did have the intention of going to work in the salon, but most of us didn't. So that was a bummer for them. Um, and then what else? Um, we actually, since it was like the end of COVID, we didn't have to take the physical test. We only have to, we only had to take a written test, which was so great because I, I went into that thinking we were gonna have to take a physical test, but then I went to school and they're like, oh no, you guys don't have to take the physical one. So it's just written exam. 
so much easier, so much better. So I can't help you guys if you have to take a physical test because I didn't. And what else? I'm trying to think, oh, what did we wear? So we were just really casual with it. We just wore yoga pants, t-shirt. Sometimes the front office would make us wear our little, our gowns, but we usually didn't wear them. We were just in the back and no one, no one saw us. <laughs> so we usually didn't wear them. But I just got lucky. The girls in my class were really fun and I made friends with all of them. And I have two close friends that I still talk to from nail school and they're really cool. The, um, I don't know if I said this already, but the age range was like 19 to like um, in their 30s. So some girls even had kids. Um, and yeah, what else? I thought it was fun. So just mingle. I had one friend who said she was there for a month and I came a month after her and she said she hadn't talked to anybody for the whole month. And I was like, oh my God, how boring would that be? So if there are any good vibes around, make sure you find them and talk to those people because it'll be way more entertaining than sitting there by yourself. I know sometimes just pe some people aren't like approachable or anything, but I mean, just try, just try. They could just be shy or something. You gotta get them out of their shell. Yeah, just make sure you go every day. Um, I know it's gonna get boring sometimes and you're not gonna wanna go, but just go, just go. You'll be so much happier when you finish sooner, okay? I think the one girl I started with, she start, she finished two months after me. So I'm pretty sure a month or two after me. So if you don't go, it's gonna add up quickly and then you, you'll you still be going and you wanna hurry up and not go. Well, let's talk about my last day. So on my last day, it was a Monday, I actually hung out with all my nail school friends on the weekend. We went to a bar and stuff like that and it was fun to celebrate my last day. Um, but yeah, on my last day, all I did was stay for my hours, got all the necessary paperwork. The school usually sends out your paperwork to the state board. Um, I, or they offered us to do it too. And I also didn't trust them to do it like quickly. So I just did it myself. And then, and then a few weeks later, you get a few weeks or months later, you get your ID number so that you're able to sign in for the state board and schedule your appointment. And then you take your test. So that was it for the last day. I just said bye to everybody and went about my way. I did like school. I had a good time. Um, it can get a little bit boring, but again, if you go in there with positive attitude, make friends, then it's not so bad. And I guess I'll just throw in a little bit about the actual taking the test because it's not enough information to just do one video. So I signed up for the test. Um, I scheduled my appointment and then the day of the appointment, the, the day of the test, I went to the testing facility. Um, I don't know why I thought everyone at the facility would also be taking a manicures test, but no, everyone was there for completely different tests. So I think there was one other girl that was there for beauty even. So it was barely, I was really surprised. I don't know why I thought everyone was gonna be manicures, but yeah, I waited in line and then they like check you in and then you sit in these chairs and then you just wait for your name to be called. And once your name is called, um, you go into the, like they call you up, they ask for just certain information. They, you're just confirming yourself basically. And then you go into your room and they actually had noise canceling headphones. I love to work with silence. I'm not even like a music and, and like, note take type of person I like silence and the the silencing headphones were amazing and then I just took the test and if you did your studying and stuff it's not hard it's on I don't even I don't want to say this I want to tell you not to like study everything but they are a little bit more of general questions than the more specific questions you get like when you take a chapter test in school they're more specific like what's the name of this bone in your finger they didn't have any of those like specific like that specific questions you know so yeah, and they took the test. You don't get to know your score though. You just know that you passed. I was so sad. I went out, I was like, can I know my score? Cause it just says pass on the computer, pass or fail. And um, yeah, they were just like, oh, I'm so sorry. We can't give you your score. Cause I felt like I only got like three wrong, but yeah, I couldn't know. But yeah, that's really it. And now I have my license and the license is good because you can get insurance and you know, just keep, keep yourself safe with the law and you know, you never know. Alrighty, I think that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you have any other questions, comment them down below. I'll try to answer them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But if you if you haven't, if this is your first time coming to my channel, check out my other videos. We do mostly like character nail art here and like detailed nail art um, on acrylic nails. So if you like that, then go ahead and watch these. And thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. I also wanted to pop in and show you guys my notebook really quick because it's really cute.
My sister made it. You can get it on Amazon. It's linked below, but it's cows and milk. She also has an alien one and we all, can all tell I like aliens. So, but I wanted to go with cow today. Thank you. <laughs>